Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm gonna teach you if you're an automotive sales pro and you wanna learn how when a client says, I've got a couple more vehicles to go look at, I'm gonna show you how to wrap it up and close them every single time. Check this out. This is very important. If you're wanting to learn how to be unstoppable, you gotta be dangerous with this mouthpiece. When you speak, the way you talk, the way you articulate your words, you gotta be different than the freaking amateurs in this world, and you don't wanna sound like anybody else, okay? Number one, I'm gonna tell you what an amateur sounds like. So listen, okay? This is old school, it's been out for 20 years. When a customer says, hey, I've got a couple more cars I wanna go look at, I'm gonna get back with you. Salespeople say, hey, I totally understand. Look, I've been doing this for a long time, and when someone says they need to get back with me, what I've learned, or they've got a couple more cars that they're gonna go look at, what I've learned is that it's either one of three things. Number one, it's me, it's the money, or that's the machine. That's what they say. Don't say that. If you say me, the money, or the machine, listen to me, you sound like everyone else in the world. Don't say that, okay? Now listen, do me a favor. Let's gonna go to professional. Write this down. Write this down, ready? Okay? I get excited when I teach you guys because I'm gonna make you freaking savages, okay? I want you to write this down. Future expectations. What does that mean? That means if they say they got a couple more cars to go look at, after they go look at all those cars, then what would they do? Well, they'd have to make a decision, right? So we're going to use a word track that plays into future expectations and pulls them back down and gives them a choice. Would you do this or would you do this? And then we're going to close them. I'm going to take them right down a funnel. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Clients, this is a professional, not these amateurs. Professionals sound just like this. Hey Andy, we got a couple more cars we wanna go look at. Hey, number one, I totally understand. Let me ask you a question. Are the vehicles you're gonna go look at similar to the one that me and you just looked at? Or are they completely different, which one? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. If they say completely different, you did your job wrong. You need to take them back to the lot and go find another car. That's your fault, man, you messed up, okay? You didn't listen right. But if they say, no, it's kind of similar, same type of car, okay, cool. Hypothetically, let's say you had already gone and seen all those other vehicles, all of them. I don't care if there's two of them or 20, it doesn't matter. Let's say you went and drove every single one of them. And then let's pretend that mine was the last one you went and looked at. Mr. and Mrs. Customer, after driving every vehicle, in the end, what would be the deciding factor on which one you'd probably end up buying? Would it be the car itself, regardless of the deal, or would it be the great deal that the dealership is willing to give you? Which one? They're always gonna say great deal. I mean, 99% of the time, they're gonna say, well, it'd be the deal. You say, cool. So it's not a matter of if you're gonna buy, it's when. And the when is when the deal's right, right? And they'll always say right. And then you say, awesome. So if I could save you some time and money, would that offend you in any way? Would you be upset with me at all? They'll say no, and you say, thank goodness, and you put your hand out. That's it. If you can memorize this simple word track, remember this. Andy, I've got a couple more cars I want to go look at. I'm going to get back with you. Hey, I totally understand. Let me ask you a question. Are the vehicles you're going to go look at similar to the one me and you just drove or completely different? Which one? They're similar. Awesome. Hypothetically, let's say you had already gone and seen all those other vehicles, all of them whether it was two or 20, it doesn't matter. Let's say you drove every one of them. And then mine was the last one you went and looked at. After driving every single car, in the end, what would be the deciding factor on which one you probably end up buying? Would it be the car itself, regardless of the deal? It's option A. Or would it be the great deal that the dealership was willing to give you? Look at the smile on my face. I'm leading you here. Or would it be the great deal that the dealership was willing to give you? Which one? I'm gonna lead them here. They're gonna say, well, it'd be the great deal. You say, cool. So it's not a matter of if you're gonna buy, it's when, and the when is when the deal's right, right? They'll always say right. And then you say, awesome, so if I could save you some time and money, would that offend you in any way? Would you be upset with me at all? No? Thank goodness. Stick your hand in their chest, take them inside. That's how it's done. Now listen to me, if you wanna crush it and kill it, okay, I wanna tell you this. There are 20 to 30 objections you must learn. There's what you say, how you say it, and do you believe in what you're saying? Listen guys, I'm a sniper, okay? I'm not a machine gun sprayer. I'm not out here running my mouth. What, what comes out of my mouth is dangerous, it's sharp, it makes sense, and it takes the customer in the direction I wanna go. If you're watching this video, 
and you want to become one of the best speakers in the world. You want to learn how to sell ideas and situations and, and, and learn to spit word tracks out of your mouth at any point in time to close any client. Truly understand how to influence and persuade and get what you want. I've released a program called Project 500. It's how to make over half a million dollars a year, $500,000 in one year as an automotive pro. Now listen to me, I'm an underdog. Okay, but I was coachable. And if you're coachable and you're looking, they say, hey, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. The teacher has shown up, that's me. If you love my videos and you wanna go deeper and really be coached to a whole new level, you shoot me a text message, test me. I'll show you how to make a half a million a year. Text me at 918-210-0254. Write this down. If you're not earning what you want right now, shoot me a text, 918. 210-0254. I will help you go to the next income level. If you're in the automotive business right now, we're in a world full of amateurs. It is time for you to level up, build your name, and crush it. I love you guys. I got your back for life. Appreciate you. Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.